morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in the glorious Surrey Hills near Guildford and a place I've been wanting to come to for years, but I never have. I brought you to the ancient Saxon church of St Peter and St Paul in Albury on the Albury estate and within Albury Park. No longer used for worship, but is owned and managed by the Church's Conservation Trust which is like an English heritage body that looks after our places of worship that are no longer in uh, use for uh, um, church services. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look inside. It's great straight away. Uh, to encourage wildflowers, this churchyard is mown only occasionally. This church had been the heart of the village up until the uh, 18th century. And now it's known locally as the Saxon church because the newer church in the village centre in Albury, about a mile from here, has the same dedication to St Peter and St Paul. They didn't want to confuse the two. This is one of the hidden gems in Surrey. I mean, I love old churches. This is one of the best, absolutely one of the best. Now, I mean, how old is this door? I mean, I know we're going about old doors, but this is old. Wow. Okay, let's go. Now I've been in a lot of churches, a lot, but this is one of the most magnificent I've ever seen in view of its age, in view that it's not in service anymore and the different styles and architecture. Most of it is flint, so it's lovely, yeah. Image niche, circa 1300. Underneath is the vault of William Risbridge. Okay. Up there is the medieval war painting of uh, St. Christopher. Just like the one at Chaldon Church, but that's much more spectacular and well looked after. These medieval war painters are whitewashed after the Reformation. It's great when they come back to life. Yeah. Mm, getting a bit of a heavy head in here. I'm not going down the old psychic route, but I do sense a little bit of atmosphere. Isn't it? Well, I think things everywhere, but it is quite, quite a little bit uh, heavy. Piscina, Piscina, sorry for my pronunciation, circa 1300. I mean, coming across these kind of tombs, isn't that fantastic? I love this Roman font drum, believed to be from the Roman temple at Farley Heath. The font itself is now used in Albury Parish Church. A 
I'm even into wooden casket. Looks really old. Probably it's not that old, but it probably. Is, I don't know. I'm not going to make an educated guess because there's always someone who know better. 1700s, maybe six, late 1600s. I would imagine not many people come here, although it's sort of semi well known, but it's off the beaten track. So unless you're out walking um, in Albury Park, then you might not think to come here. Oh, it's very heavy here, very heavy. It's lovely, I love this brickwork. Here lie the mortal remains of Sarah Shoebrick, who departed this life at Western House on the 21st of November, 1832, aged 62 years. Consecration cross used to be here, circa 1140, 1140. So there you go people, just a little walk around St Peter and St Paul's Church, the Saxon Church in Albury and Albury Park. Absolutely gorgeous, I'm going to come back here and do some dowsing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you know any more information about this place. I know there's lots of information online. It's been great. Yeah. All paintings, ancient church, fantastic. Whatever you're doing, have a good day. See you later.